Hello YouTube people. Today I'm going to show you how to make easy spirals like this. They only take about a minute or so to actually set up and then from there you can make your own trippy videos or you can hypnotize people or do whatever you want. It's not really my business. So let's get into it. We're going to make a new composition. Um, we'll call this spiral comp. Sure. And then from here we're going to make a new solid. And we want this solid to be a square that's bigger than whatever our composition is. So if our composition is 1920 by 1080, I'm going to go with around 2500 by 2500. That should be fine. Let's call this spiral layer. And, and we're doing that bigger because if we want to rotate this layer, we don't want any of the edges to, to peek through on the comp. That should make more sense in a minute if it did not already. So the first thing I want to add here is a Venetian blinds. Let's go ahead and throw that on. I'll turn up the transition complete a little bit. Crank up the width so we get some wider blocks. Now let's add polar coordinates. Change the type to rect to polar. Pull that all the way up to 100. Boom, we got our spiral. If you have a weird and if you have a weird little sliver like that, you can just kind of play with our digits until until it looks good. So I kind of want to just I think something like that's pretty cool. Great. And then kind of finally, let's just add a twirl. And let's just spin this bad boy. Woo! And I mean, that looks cool, but it's not what I'm going for, so I'm going to turn my twirl radius up all the way so it goes all the way to the edge of the layer. And now we're twirling. The more you turn the angle, the twirlier it gets. But this is, this is not how we're actually going to spin the layer. So to spin the layer, I'm going to open up the rotation property and I'm typing a little expression. Since I'm twirling clockwise, I guess I want to spin the layer also clockwise, right? That will make sense. So we're going to type in a little expression. I'm going to go time times 10 plus value. So now this is going to make our layer spin indefinitely, and the plus value makes it so that we can add our own little keyframes. So we could do something like Kind of, if you want to have a quick kind of animate in, like that, that's cool, I don't know. So what else can we do to this to kind of make it even cooler? Well, maybe you want, maybe you want the, the strokes to get even thicker when they come outward, so we could do something like add an optics compensation and really crank this up. Oops, that's making it a ball. That's not what we want. Still cool, not what we want. We want to reverse the lens distortion. Now it's kind of coming out at us more. Or maybe we want to at a CC lens and that's kind of weird and kind of gives it this lollipop effect that's kind of cool we could also add some kind of turbulent displace effect and make it a bit wobblier and if we add the same kind of time expression on the evolution It'll just kind of wobble around and be this even weirder, more psychedelic effect. You know, you just kind of start stacking effects on here and see what happens. And one more thing. Depending on how you set this up, you might notice that things get a little bit pixelated. I haven't found a super great fix for this. Maybe um, there's someone smart in the comments. There always seems to be. So maybe someone knows a better fix for this, but the best thing I've found so far is just throwing a little choker 
maybe one pixel or so. And that helps a little bit. The drawback is it sometimes eats away at the center, um, but it's usually not too bad. So yeah, hope this helps. Uh, let me know what you guys come up with. And thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.